Hi, I'm Ludo. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of different objects. First, I'm going to show you how to change the color of an object that has got only one color, like this one here, then an object that has got several colors, and finally, how to add color to a black object. So here I've got my object here that's got only just one pure color. If I want to change the color of this object, I can go to my colors palette here and click on different colors to start changing the color of my object. However, I won't get the right color, like here this yellow is not exactly the same as this color here. I can change the hue and saturation slightly, just like this, so it's crazy. What I can also do is use the photo lab, so what I'm going to do is click the no field button here, select my object, go to photo lab, adjustments, and HSL. Now if I go here and start moving the hue slider, I will change the color of my object and I can increase and decrease the saturation just like this and add some lightness I'll make it darker okay just like this okay there's a button here that is colorized if I click it and move the hue I'm going to get a switch a change in the colors as well here and increase the saturation a little bit so it's the same as uh, the panel that was just here before with that color eyes. so when you've got only one color on the object it doesn't matter which one you use okay so you can click OK and commit so now we've got this uh, with a different color I'm going to delete this and I'm going to use this object that has got several types of colors here so if I click on my colors palette here to change the color of this um, object so if I click on the blue the whole of my object becomes blue with different lightness and darkness areas here so that's not what I want um, because this becomes monochrome with just tints and shades of a particular color so what I'm going to do is click the no fill and then select it and go to photo lab adjustments and HSL. Now if I click on colorize increase saturation a little bit as you can see it's once again a sh shades and tints of a particular color here in red and if I change the hue to the left to the right you're going to get the same effect as we had earlier but that's not what I want so I'm going to uncheck colorize here and what I'm going to do is change the hue from here and click to the left or to the right and as you can see all the colors on my object change once again I can increase and decrease the saturation just like this and also add some brightness I'll make it darker depends on the effect that you're after okay um, decrease the saturation here because it's not really good with the red with the reds so I could um, be happy with this, so if I'm happy with this I click OK and commit it. So now all my colors have changed. I'm going to delete this object and I'm going to show you with the black object. So now if I click in my colors palette, any color, nothing happens. I can change the hue, the saturation, the lightness, nothing is happening. What I've got to do is go into my photo lab first, I'm going to click no fill select my object, go to photo lab adjustments, HSL now if I move the slider here nothing happens if I change the saturation nothing is happening either here if I change the lightness however you're going to see to the right that my object is changing into grays, uh, shades of grey here Just like that, up, up to white but that's not what I want, I want color to it and that hue slider is not doing anything so what I've got to do is click the colorize button here and now if I want to change the color the first thing I need to do is add some lightness to it at the moment it's set to zero which is pure black so if I move the slider to the right as you can see it's becoming lighter here I'm going to move the saturation up a little bit to probably about 70 here my lightness about 
to its 840 and now it's red. If I change the hue slider I'm going to get a whole range of different colors. And once again I can modify the saturation just like this and the lightness just like this. Okay. So now I can click OK and commit my filter. And this concludes our tutorial. Thank you.